Hey guys, I'm going to show you a trick to figure out how effective a type of mask covering you have for your face. A lot of people are making homemade masks. Some people are just tying bandanas around their face. Um, this is a trick that I learned to figure out how effective different materials are. So here I have... This is one of those face shields you see advertised places. You wear it a number of different ways. It's pretty lightweight. Um, just a mask. I think it's a poly cotton blend. Um, what you do is take a candle, put it in front of your face, and try to blow the candle out with the mask that you've been using. So this is not an effective mask at all. That was really easy. So, let's try. Let's try bandana. Now we got a bandana. You see it didn't quite blow it out, but it did flicker, so bandana. And it's just doubled over, triangle fold. Effective, but still not solidly effective. Surgical mask. Let's try this. It didn't move at all. So pretty effective. Surgical mask, if you can find them, great. Uh, this here, we're making homemade masks. This is just a piece of flannel. Just like a flannel shirt, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna hold this up and blow through it. Again, pretty effective the flannel. So um, if you got some old flannel shirts, make some masks out of those. This is a just a single layer or double layer mask folded over. I think it's cotton. Again, pretty darn good. So if you can make these simple masks, that's pretty good. Uh, much better at some than uh, some of the other materials. This is another homemade mask. This one has a HEPA filter from a vacuum bag inside of it. Also with the flannel and the, a single layer of cotton, I believe. So, so this is like triple, quadruple production. So. Nothing. Didn't even move. So, just a helpful hint on trying to find what material works. Um, you know, use what you can. Definitely use something, but try to find either a strong cotton, flannel, or if you can, a surgical mask.